Now, since we're here and uh, we've got the drums and the rest of the tracks hidden, I'm going to put the drums into a subgroup and then I'm going to compress the subgroup. So first let's create a stereo auxiliary track, here we go, which I'm going to call drums and I'm going to select a bus, so this will be bus 3 and 4. I'm going to right click on bus 3 and 4 and I'm going to call it drum group and here I'm going to take everything including the reverb that was going into the mix and now if I hit option shift and change this to drum group now you see all the outputs including the reverb are going to the drum group now in this drum group I can take I'm going to take um, a normal DigiDesign compressor. I'm going to go to the factory defaults and I'm going to select a hard limiting. I'm going to listen in bypass. might be a little extreme for the track but you can definitely hear the drums fatter. I'm going to try another little um, preset, fatten. Let's have a listen. Well there the compressor's really pumping, it's, it's uh, over the top. I'm going to raise the threshold. The hard limiting was much nicer. Here we go. I think that sounds quite nice. One last thing. If I was to put one track in solo, you see that it mutes the subgroup here. So the subgroup, command or control if you're on a PC, click on the solo button and put the track in solo safe, put the auxiliary or the subgroup in solo safe. And now we can hear each individual instrument solos. Option, click on a solo, let go of all the solos all at once. So that was a quick overview of the console. Up to you now to take it from there.